For the next viewing, Scott has decided to take them to a property with much more scope in the heart of the Alicante village of Anil. As far as locations go, it's an easy 40-minute drive to Alicante Airport and the Costa Blanca. As a result, house prices are definitely on the up. The property is a four-bedroom house spread over three floors. The English owners have started the renovation, but have only got as far as painting the outside. So here we are. What's your first impressions from the outside? Does it used to be a police station? <laughs> <laughs> It's a very old building. Yeah. It looks, it looks a bit like an army barracks. I don't know. OK, so one thing we should do is have a yeah. quick look at the view, because that looks right across to the town of Castello. You see the old castle on the yeah. top there? It's a nice view Lovely, of there. Lovely, yeah. Across mm. the rooftops. So why don't we go inside and have a look around? OK, come on then. Go and see inside, and we start off. It's a nice floor. I do like the floor. Up. Yeah, it's lovely, that is. And I think um, this ceiling is false, so we may even be able to find that the original beams are in the house, because I remember it's quite old. It's yeah. about 150 years old. What do you think about the tiles on the wall? Looks all right, Dad. Looks all right? Yeah. yeah. OK, so why don't we go through and look at the rest of the house from here, yeah? Yeah. Well, that's a good start. They like the living room. This could be promising. Next up, the bathroom. And just look at those tiles. Obviously, it needs a little oh. tender loving care. Mm. I don't like this too. It's been empty a while. No. Don't like the tiles. No. Well, that's a decoration. Fairly cosmetic, though. so. Yeah. Mm. And then in here, we've got the kitchen. Yeah. So you can see, again, it's quite low. Now, I should probably mention to you that this floor has been raised. We came up a couple of steps yeah. from the hallway. Yeah. This could be taken down back to the original level of the house over there. So that would take you down from away from this ceiling. Yeah. Yeah? And that gives you a lot more space in here. Fancy tackling this one? No. I don't really like it at all. Oh, right. yeah. What, the kitchen or the house? The house or the kitchen. The house yeah. or the kitchen? No. Well, let's investigate further. <laughs> more surprises upstairs. More surprises upstairs, right. right. I don't like all the tiles. He is hoping the upstairs with its four bedrooms will give this picky pair some inspiration. Okay, so this is the main bedroom of the house. It's quite big. It is big. So just below the the rock. We're right on the edge of the mountain, so the house is built into the side of the mountain. That's why we've got these strange heights of the window. Yeah. Okay, we'll keep going. So this another bedroom here. Oh, this is nice. This it's a bit is brighter, nice. isn't it? A bit brighter. Yeah. Yeah. Like There's a glimmer of hope. Yeah. Hillary has found something yeah. to be positive yeah. about, sort of but Chris bedroom. has still got a problem with the right. time. Yeah, yeah. So I see what you mean. It's the, the marble ends all the way through, isn't it? Yeah, basically. yeah exactly. Yeah. In this property, one bedroom leads on to another, which is quite typical for Spanish townhouses. But it seems Hillary prefers a more English layout. What do you think about the distribution of the rooms, how they're laid out? It's so got a, a, a longer made to break the bedrooms up, otherwise you're just passing from bedroom to bedroom, mm. isn't it? On the way up to the roof terrace, Scott shows them yet more rooms in need of renovation. But I get the feeling this place is a project too far for this couple. It's going to cost £25,000 yeah. to do this. And the rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Easy. I can't stand these slot tiles. <laughs> you don't say, Chris. You don't like it, do you? I don't like it at all. <laughs> I think we get the message. The inside's been a disaster. Perhaps the outside space will swing it. There's a small overgrown garden built into the hillside. Big almond tree. Oh. Fig tree. You like a lot of outside space? Yeah. You do? Yeah, I do. Well, I've come up here because I think you're going to like what's up here. Let's go and have a look. The view, the view, yeah. So here you have your big, yeah. big sunny terrace. Yeah, I do like the terrace. Yeah, yeah, this is nice. Yeah. It's a lot of space, isn't it? Really yeah. nice, yeah. This has been recently built there. This was done as a barbecue and yeah. Yeah. plumbing up here. It's the best piece of the house. But it is lovely, this bit. But I don't like the inside one little bit. So there's a lot of work to do there. There, there's there is a, a lot of work to a do. A lot of work, yeah. I think you'd be surprised, actually. It wouldn't be as much as you think it is. 
Scott's going to have to come up with quite a spectacular price to get a sale from these two.